Okay. And my, my voice is really giving out now because trying to record all of these in a row was not a brilliant idea. <laughs> but now I will completely modify this code, which is going to end up being real easy, right? So again, the rule is softmax for the last layer because the last layer is the only one that we want to have a statistical interpretation of, right? It's the only one that we need to have certain requirements for, right? So again, um, categorical cross entropy expects its inputs to be in the range zero to one and to sum to one, so that the last layer needs to be softmax. And the last layer is the only one in this architecture that we need to be softmax, because it's the only one that we expect to have a statistical interpretation. So I'm just reformatting this so it's a little bit easier to read. We just change this to categorical cross entropy and there we go very easy and we might not actually see much improvement this time although again it's actually very difficult to analyze because remember right now we're seeing 0 0.13 on the categorical cross entropy loss when we were seeing 0.00004 on the MSE before, but remember that the MSE can be small even when the network is very wrong when our last layer is one hot, right? So looking at this and going, oh, this loss is a little bit higher does not mean that this was a bad thing, right? Because one of the problems with MSE is that it gives you a deceptively tiny number for a one hot, right? Although in practice, in this occasion, I would expect MSE to work because this is a fairly simple rule, right? We will be using a version of this network later when we start talking about MNIST, okay? So when we start using, um, when we start working with the MNIST database, which is handwritten digits, we'll basically have a slightly bigger version of this. More input, more output, more layer, but it will basically look like this. We'll be getting a square input. We'll immediately flatten it because we don't care about the 3D or 2D structure of it. We'll have a couple of tan H layers and we'll have a final soft max layer where the number of outputs is the number of categories we have. Okay? And hopefully, and, and we'll use categorical cross entropy loss because we in general expect that to be much better when our outputs are um, are supposed to be statistically interpretable as probabilities and we want them to approach being one hot. Okay? And again, I, I broke this into two separate lectures because I think that maybe trying to talk about all of that stuff, about classification problems, at the same time that we're trying to learn MNIST, excuse me, might be a bit way too much for one class. And the MNIST is the stuff that probably needed to get delayed because I'm trying to decide how much of the TensorFlow input pipeline I want to submit y'all to. Subject y'all to. Okay. So, um, hopefully that helps. I have heard feedback that some people want me to slow down a little bit. Um, hopefully this is not too quick. Um, not, a, not too quick a trip over a lot of this content. Okay. Um, hopefully we will be ready for... Um, Oh man, again, my brain is shutting down. A bunch of these in a row is not great. Hopefully we will be ready for, um, I just said it, MNIST and SciFAR next week. <laughs>